parts of your body. Sometimes you just get knocked down. I got knocked down and humbled last night. Thought I made a good shot on a buck in Arkansas. Really felt that I did a pretty good shot. And after getting a tracking dog out there and not finding blood after 50 yards and uh, grid searching the whole area today, which is the next day, putting four plus miles on the ground, just grid searched everywhere that buck could be and never found another drop of blood or a bed or anything there was absolutely nothing so i'm praying it was far enough forward that it just kind of got in that brisket and um that he survives um that's all you can do it's part of hunting it's got to happen i guess even at some point in time so it happened and i'm devastated by it um but at the same time just you know don't be judged by that. Be judged by how you pick yourself up afterwards and how you, you know, learn from that experience and move on and um, attack the next. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to have a positive attitude and going to attack the next spot. So up in Missouri now, and I'm going to go to this green field up here. Um, I had an encounter with the buck. He's just kind of, I don't even have a name for him. He's just got a lot of mass. He's got some trash on him. He's a really good, solid, probably four and a half year old uh, deer. And um, had an encounter with him. He wouldn't come past 82 yards and I don't shoot that far. I kind of cut off at 40, 45 at max. Um, so anyway, he's been coming out in that corner when he does. He hasn't come out the last, couple of evenings but we had a massive cold front come through yesterday and today it is like highs in the 50s and i think the lows will be around low 40s tonight so the deer are moving and they are on their feet and they are loving this weather and they're starting to scrape and they're starting to get active and there's been a lot of deer in this food plot so i'm hoping tonight with this cold temperature um he hasn't been here for a few nights so i'm hoping tonight he gets in here Think about doing something a little bit um aggressive so i've got my leafy suit and i've got my tripod and i've got a chair but i've also got um my safety harness and everything so I might climb up in the tree sand tree sand would be great for the wind but if he does what he's been doing he's going to come in at the far far end which is like 100 something yards away and he's only going to get like 80 yards um away from me that's as close as he's going to get so i might possibly if the wind i got to check the wind if the wind's doing okay I might cut the distance in half, get on the edge of the greenfield in a briar patch and set up, which would be really, really cool. And I'd love to do that. There's been so many deer in this field though, even though I've got the scent thief and I really have not been busted once with using that, um, I still hunt with the wind in my advantage as much as I can. And with as many deer that are in here and as long as they're staying in the food plot, I don't want to put that at risk. So um, we'll see what I can get by with. I'm going to carry it all in and decide once I get there, when I figure out exactly what the wind's doing in that area. I'll tell you that's one thing you, you'll you learn about the Ozarks or just hill country is I don't care what the wind says it's going to do. It doesn't matter. Um, depending on which side of the hill you're sitting on or bottom or flat, it could be doing a million different things. So check the wind when you get there, set up accordingly, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna finish spraying down, uh, get all this gear together, got a bunch of gear to carry in, and then we'll see what happens. Sounds like I might have a few turkeys back here. Let's see if I can, they've been talking.
She's not happy. I gotta go deer hunting. Quit messing with the turkey, Steven. Okay. Let's go. Jeremy would be proud of me right there. Just because I got sidetracked with turkeys. So much stuff. Self film, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I do enjoy it. But it's hard work. This wind's actually a whole lot more west than northwest, like they were talking on this ridge top. So I think I'm gonna go in for the ground ambush. I won't know till right till I get there, but I think I'm going in on the ground. I can get situated. to see how close I get and see if my big buck shows up. Technically, if he shows up, he's gonna be just like around the corner. And I honestly probably won't be able to see him very good until he, I stand up or he comes around a little bit further. It's gonna be a close encounter for sure, but it should be super thrilling, so we'll see what happens. Got the first deer that entered the green field over there. see something else, and so do the does, but so far, the big buck hasn't walked out that I can see, but I can't see.
looking to the west side of this field and it ended up boogering them. My wind is blowing that way. They definitely weren't catching my wind, but something has them triggered that way. When I was walking in, I did notice that there was a remains of a pretty fresh deer carcass. I couldn't see any broadhead. I couldn't see that the ribs were had been shot, but it was a doe, and uh, it was on that side over there. It just has me wondering if someone's not like slipping in here and coming in that way or something, because I've not been hunting here out of here once and didn't educate any of the deer, but every deer that's come out, and they finally just decided to clear the field. He came in, he was like, 11 yards, maybe 12 yards. So that was pretty cool. It was so tempting to shoot him, but clearly a three and a half year old. If he would have been wider, a little bit taller, I would have shot him. But the buck that I'm after in here is gnarly, way bigger body, way bigger antlers. And he's like a four and a half plus, so. It's kind of nice that they, they did leave the field though. We got plenty, we got like an hour and 25, 30 minutes before uh, it gets dark, so their eyes were getting too close for me, so that's all right. We'll see what happens. All right, so that was really exciting. I needed that. So uh, probably think I'm a little crazy setting up on the ground like that and letting a 10 point <laughs> like that walk by. But I'm after this buck. I haven't named him yet. Comment down below what you think I should name him. I'll put a picture of him up um, right now. But he's just a beast. He's really, really pretty. He's, like I said, he's four and a half. I know him to be at least four and a half. Um, but he's beautiful. Got a lot of character. Got some good mass. He's tall. He's got a lot of kickers and daggers. And that's who I was waiting on tonight. And he did pretty much exactly what that 10 point um, did tonight. That's what that big buck has been doing. So, uh, yeah. You know, here in Missouri, we get one archery tag up till the rifle season, and we can use our other one after rifle season, which is in, like, uh, second week of November. And so it's really hard to, like, want to tag a buck like that when you know you've got a lot bigger bucks that you're going after that 
if you killed that one, you're literally pretty much out of the woods here in Missouri until rifle season. So um, just didn't want to do that. So anyway, yeah, it might be a little crazy, uh, but you got to pass those like that to get the really big, you know, mature bucks. That's a three and a half year old. I really shoot for like four and a half year old and better. Um, doesn't always happen that way. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> There's a big three and a half. He's going down. Sometimes I'm less picky when I travel. Two and a half. He's in trouble. But anyway, regardless, had fun tonight. Super close encounters. Had that... Um, that 10 point come in with like 11 yards and i had the eight point come all the way up through he was maybe he was about 15 and then had a couple coyotes come through so fast that i couldn't get a shot with the bow um but yeah really eventful night for sitting on the ground lots of close encounters really really cool glad i did it going back out tomorrow i'm um, not for sure where i'm setting yet but um We'll see what shows up on the spy point tonight. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we have a lot of content coming out and make sure you click the bell notification so you get notified every time we do a new release in our videos. Uh, thumbs up and until next time, have a better than average day. Won't you take a little